Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Draven Academy, and today we're going to be talking about who is eligible to actually follow the ELDT requirements. So the main question is going to be, hey, I took my test before February 7th, does that mean I still have to follow the ELD requirements? And that answer could be a yes, you still have to follow the ELD requirements, even if you took your test before February 7th. So the easiest way to kind of debunk any of this stuff is going to be look at your permit. That's right, take out your permit right now, and there's gonna be an issue date on there. So if that issue date is after February 7th, then you fall under the ELDT guidelines. If your issue date is before February 7th of 2022, then you do not fall under the ELDT guidelines. So as a perfect example, if you're in the state of New Jersey, you have two sets of permits. You have what's called a paper permit. That's what DMV likes to call a test receipt. So you're gonna pay $125 for that, you're going to take the test there and then once you pass all three tests you're going to give the dmv your dot physical and then you're actually going to go and get your actual clp which is called the commercial learner's permit looks so like like your driver's license now what is important there is going to be the actual clp the learner's permit is your official cdl permit now what can happen from students is hey john but i took my test in january and the tests are still good but if the issue date on the CLP is after February 7th, maybe you've renewed it or so, then you are no good and you have to follow the ELDT guidelines, right? So the one thing that kind of mixes people up is the permits itself are good for six months. Now, the, the written tests at New Jersey are gonna be good for one full year. So that means if your first six months has expired on your permit, you can renew it one more time without any issue, without taking any retests after this full year has expired on the actual written test, then you have to retake all the written tests itself. When it comes to the state of Pennsylvania, state of Pennsylvania recently uh, actually just changed their permits from being six months long to a year. So right now, pretty much the only state that we're aware of that actually holds the permit for one full year would be Pennsylvania. So they're really the only state around that actually has permits and people who are still eligible to actually not follow the ELDT guidelines. Because if you got your permit, say on February 1st of 2022, and it was good for one full year, that means you're good without any of the ELDT stuff up until February uh, 1st of 2023. And once you renew that permit and you get a new issue date, that is when you're gonna have an issue. So if you have any questions, please give our team a call at 908-525-3609. Let us know if you qualify or not for the ELDT. And if you now are so upset that you have to go through the ELDT, we're probably the only school that kind of streamlined that process as smooth as possible to make sure that you are eligible and you can get in and out of this process nice and easy with the information that you need to fit all the federal guidelines. And it's all included with our course. We're not gonna have you overcharged or anything like that. So if you are interested in learning more, give our team a call, 908-525-3609, or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivenacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivenacademy.com. Thanks, and have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.